The Science in Motion program at the University of Pittsburgh at Bradford is one of 11 institutions that form the consortium that is part of the Pennsylvania Basic Education and Higher Education Science and Technology Partnership Program, which continues to serve schools in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. During the 2006-2007 year, Science in Motion at Pitt Bradford made over 31,000 student contacts while collaborating with 50 teachers in 20 different schools. During that period of time, Science in Motion mobile educators at Pitt Bradford made 1,078 teaching visits during 141 visiting days. The Science in Motion program at Pitt Bradford supports a region approximately the size of the state of Connecticut, which is more than any other Science in Motion site. The purpose of the Science in Motion program, which is funded by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, is to provide inquiry-based, state-of-the-art science instruction in chemistry and biology. Students learn science best by doing science. Science in Motion promotes good science education by providing advanced equipment and supplies which are delivered to the classroom, through content-specific professional development for teachers, and through the use of mobile educators who support the classroom. Science in Motion mobile educators perform one of three different tasks. They deliver equipment and materials to the classroom, they can assist teachers with laboratory demonstrations, or in some cases they can provide the complete laboratory demonstration themselves. The curriculum enhancements and access to professional quality scientific laboratory equipment that Science in Motion can provide helps participating high schools to help students to meet the state standards for science and technology. It also creates a partnership that is a critical component for workforce development. Students are exposed to research, advanced instrumentation, and are encouraged to consider careers in science and technology. Research and development and a capable, creative workforce are critical to regions such as ours. Science in Motion is one example of investment in the future of regional economic development. Hi, my name is Bruce Kemp. I'm a biology teacher at Oswa Valley High School. I teach grades 9 through 12. Um, Science in Motion has been incredibly important to our curriculum here at Oswa Valley. We do not have the funds to provide labs. We have the funds to provide the lab itself, but not the actual labs that the students do. Science in Motion comes twice a month for the three different classes that I teach. Um, so I get six labs per month, which would be 54 labs for the year, that I wouldn't be giving to these students otherwise, because I don't have the materials. I've been involved in several grants for the 14 years that I've taught, and none of them, none of the programs that I've been involved with are as good for science education as Science in Motion. It's the highest quality with the best labs. Um, the, the learning that the students get are far above anything that I could provide them through our own funding at the school. I am grateful to Science in Motion and hope that the funding continues so the students can have access to these labs. I'm Laurie Anderson, uh, Al County Catholic High School. I teach uh, biology, accelerated biology, biology 2, anatomy, and ecology. I found that Science in Motion program has been a tremendous addition to our science program and what we are able to offer our students. Very often I found myself in a position where I wanted to do a lab with the students and was unable to afford the equipment and through the Science in Motion program we were able to um, use a lot of labs that um, are important that the students have access to. I've had many students come back uh, from a college experience and say they were the only ones who had uh, experienced certain labs. For instance, the DNA profiling with electrophoresis. Um, many other students uh, said the Vernier uh, probes were the, um, gave them sort of a one leg up on other students in, in college. So the opportunity that Science in Motion afforded these students allowed them to perform better, not only at a high school ladder level, but at a college level as well. In addition, the program offered some of our more advanced students the opportunity um, to work on rewriting uh, several labs, which was a, a very unique opportunity. The students enjoyed it immensely, um, truly enhanced their love of science and love of working in the lab, and in, uh, I feel sort of encouraged them to go on and declare science majors in college. The um, 
the program has really done, offer, I, I think expanded our science de department as a whole, what we're able to offer our students and um, the experiences we're able to give our students. It's made our department better and as a result has made our science students better, more competitive, and when they get to college they, they realize that difference and, and, and I think appreciate more the opportunities um, that this program has given them. Good morning, my name is Lisa Van Gordon. I teach seventh grade science, uh, ninth grade biology, and just this year we began a class in forensic science for seniors at Port Allegheny High School. Um, without the Science in Motion program to support these classes, many of the different lab activities that we have performed over the course of the year would not be possible. And I feel that these labs really have enriched the students' understanding of the concepts that have been taught, especially in, at the forensic science level with the senior high students. Uh, some of the lab activities that we have done and have included uh, DNA profiling, um, DNA analysis, Sherlock Bones labs where we look at the anatomy of the bones and determine uh, sex and race of these individuals. Uh, many of these labs we would not be able as a school district to support and so the Science in Motion program has basically carried uh, that forensic science class. Uh, they have also provided numerous labs for the biology classes uh, that have allowed the students to work with karyotyping work with manipulatives to understand more fully the concepts of mitosis and meiosis. Uh, with the seventh grade, students uh, using the digital microscopes have, has enriched their lives, made it more possible for them to see and understand the organisms that are being observed. Uh, the Science and Motion program has just been a wonderful opportunity uh, for these students. They personally really appreciate uh, the labs and the capabilities and the possibilities that uh, the program has provided. I would strongly encourage that funding for the Science in Motion program be continued so that our students here in rural Pennsylvania will have those opportunities. Um, without those opportunities, I think they would be at a serious disadvantage. Thank you very much. I'm Susan Hutchins. I teach uh, chemistry, uh, physics, advanced chemistry, inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, applied physics, and advanced physics at Sheffield Area Middle Senior High School. I have been a teacher for 35 years. I have been involved with the SIMS program for the last six years. The reason I got interested in using SIMS is because Sheffield is a very small school, graduating roughly 50 students per year. The budget we have for the sciences is by, by its nature of the school very, very small and we need uh, any equipment and any materials and any ideas that we can uh, gather from other sources in order to be able to supplement the experiences our students get in lab. Now needless to say, the equipment that we are able to borrow from the Science of Motion and the types of labs that we are able to do through them uh, are materials that we could never afford. Uh, several thousand dollars for a piece of equipment that might be a, an exotic uh, analytic balance that is able to be actually hooked into a computer. We can't even begin to look at materials like that, equipment like that. So the Science in Motion has enabled us to allow our students to get experiences in the laboratory that are far beyond what they would ordinarily be able to get. And it has generated a great interest in science and has introduced the students into uh, the exotic disciplines in science. I have one student that I've learned today who was a person who went through the SIMS program for three years who is now pursuing a doctorate degree in polymer chemistry and he is applying for a patent because he learned how to wrinkle a polymer. His experiences that he got in the lab through the SIMS program has been invaluable and has allowed him to see the possibilities above and beyond what he would ordinarily see in a small area like Sheffield and Warren County.